Hi friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we will be looking at how to get every fossil Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And just before we get into this guide today, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to leave a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. So to start us off, there are four fossil Pokemon within Sword and Shield. There is Dracovish, the Water and Dragon Pokemon, Dracozolt, the Dragon and Electric Pokemon, Arcovish, the Ice and Water type, and Arcozolt, the Electric and Ice type Pokemon. Each one of these fossil Pokemon has two fossil items that make it into that specific Pokemon. We will go into what each fossil is and the combinations you will need to make to obtain these Pokemon as we go through this guide. Now depending on which version you have, you will be able to find certain fossils for these Pokemon through normal games. Gameplay. In Pokemon Sword you will be able to find the fossilized bird and dino items and in Pokemon Shield you will be able to find the fossilized drake and fish items. Now even though these items are exclusive to each Sword and Shield title there is a way in each game to obtain every single fossil item. To do this we want to head first to the wild area and head towards the bridge field area near where to the Pokemon nursery is located. As you can see what you want to do when you get to this area is find these characters who are the Digger Brothers. You can pay each of them 500 watts and they will dig for you and find specific rare items including fossils to resurrect these fossil Pokemon. Now there isn't much difference between the two. The Digger on the right will not get you as many items but supposedly you will find you rarer items whereas the Digger on the left will find you more items but probably not as many of the rarer ones. Honestly, I have spent a lot of watts on both of these characters and I can say that both are pretty even and will find the fossils you need after a little bit of grinding. So it's just a case of having a little bit of patience with this. I think I spent around 20 minutes here before I was able to obtain every fossil that I was looking for. As you can see here, in one dig we obtained the fossilized bird dino and fish fossils and along with this we got some other pretty nice items as well. You can get bottle caps, wishing pieces and all of the elemental stones through this method so even if you aren't searching for fossil items it's something well worth taking advantage of especially at this cost. And as you can see after a little more grinding we were eventually able to get the fossilized drake item which is the final one we needed. I will say before we go any further to get all four of these fossil Pokemon you will need at least two of each of these fossil items. Now I've already been grinding prior to this video so I do have them already and as I say it took me about 20 minutes of grinding through these diggers to get each one so again it could take another 20 minutes, it might take 10 minutes, it depends on your luck and just you've just got to be patient with it, you will get all of these items once again, it's just having the watts and the patience to do it. So now we need to go and get these fossils restored. So to do this we need to head out to Route 6 on your town map. So you open up the town map, you head up to Route 6 and once you are here you take a left up the ramp and speak to this lady NPC character who will ask you if you want to resurrect your fossil items. Now she will ask you what combinations you would like to choose. To start with we are going to resurrect Dracovish. So for Dracovish you want to combine the items the fossilized fish and drake. And as you can see this results in Dracovish. It is the water and dragon type Pokemon. We were actually lucky enough to get a strong jaw as its ability and the adamant ability as well which is ideal. Perfect for what we were wanting for a competitive Dracovish. The next combination we are going to complete is the fossilized fish and dino items and as you can see this will result in the Octovish. In the next we're going to combine the fossilized bird and the fossilized drake to create Dracozolt and finally the fossilized bird and dino item to obtain Arcozolt. So that's all there is to it, literally all there is to it. There's those combinations there, you can go back in this video and look through them. It is a very simple method and only requires a little bit of patience when initially hunting for those fossil items. So to end the video, for those of you who don't want to spend hours software setting for that perfect fossil Pokemon, I will show you a method that kind of skips this process. So what you want to do is 
whichever fossil Pokemon you've resurrected, you want to get it up to level 100. And you can do this by using a combination of the XL candies, large candies, medium candies, and then rare candies. I always find rare candies are better to use for the final few levels of a Pokemon. Now, once you have this Pokemon, this specific Pokemon to level 100, what you want to do is head to Wind and Battle Tower. And once you're here, you can head inside. And then if you want to head to your right and speak to this NPC character here, who will actually hyper train one of your Pokemon. The only restriction on being able to hyper train a Pokemon is it, that it does have to be at level 100. So hence the first step in this process. Now we speak to this NPC character, he'll ask if we want to hyper train our Pokemon. We'll say yes, we'll choose just regular bottle caps because we've got three stats that we want maxed out on Dracovish and then we will go forward and ask him to max them out and that is as easy as that we have now six perfect ivs on our dracovish and this can be translated into any of the other fossil pokemon that you do end up resurrecting so you don't have to spend hours soft resetting for those perfect iv combinations and also if you do want to skip the synchronizer step as well you can also come here and you can buy yourself a nature mint so that will skip the step of having to soft reset for a nature and you can just buy a mint they are quite pricey at 50 battle points each but it will save you a lot of time in the long run so this ends the guide my friends i hope you found it useful please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and i will see you for another Pokemon guide very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye